Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to set up your Epson Workforce 7010 as a network printer on your Windows-based computer. The first step thing you want to do is insert the driver CD into your computer and let the auto start run. Or if you don't have the CD, simply download the driver from Epson's website and run the driver file. Now here you have the options for installing the driver and utilities. You can also install the user's guide, special offers, news and alerts and so forth. I'm simply going to install the driver and utilities and click next or install. Here I'm going to connect with wireless or wired network connection and hit next and I'm going to set up the printer for the first time. Hit next. You want to make sure that you have your printer turned on and connected back to your network and click next the driver is actually going to search your network and try to find the printer on the network Next, it's actually going to copy the files over to the computer for the driver. All right, here it's trying to actually set up the network on the printer, so we're going to click Next. It's going to give you a firewall warning. Just simply click next. Make sure your firewall is not blocking communications to the printer. Next we want to actually find this printer, select it and hit next. And then here I'm going to tell it to set an IP address manually. You want to do this because you want to make sure it's outside of your IP address range. Um, for this instance, we're going to set the printer up as 192.168.1.205 because I know this is a free IP address. And I'm going to click Next. It's going to send the information to the printer. and then we're simply going to hit finish and then exit the installer now when we go to look in printers and faxes you'll notice you have the workforce SG30 or the workforce 7010 series network printer as an option just simply close this you're actually going to get um, a screen up to register your printer I'm not going to do that at this time so I'm just going to e exit the registration. The next thing you need to do is install the power driver. Power driver can be downloaded from Sawgrass's website. We're going to run the power driver. Click next. I agree. Next. And install. When you get this window you want to click continue anyway. That's just a security warning telling you basically that Microsoft does not know who Sawgrass is.
All right, at this point, I'm going to select opt not to register the power driver. And then it's going to tell me to select the proper printer. I'm going to hit OK. And under OEM printer, I'm going to select the Workforce 7010 series printer. And then click apply and OK. Power driver will finish out copying software and I'm going to select finish. Now once you have this installed, you want to go back to your printers. You'll notice you have a power driver installed as well as the workforce printer. You're always going to select the power driver to print to. I do recommend right clicking going to printing preferences and selecting yes um, to register the power driver. At this point you can click on obtain registration code and it'll pull up a web page for you to fill out just general information about yourself and your printer to submit to Sawgrass. Um, once you submit this, you'll get a registration code back via email. Just simply put this registration code in and click apply, apply code. If you don't have internet access at the time, you can actually give Sawgrass a call uh, at the number list numbers listed above here. If you're located in the U.S., it's 1-843-884-1575, option 1. Once you apply the code, just click on OK here and you're ready to print. If you have any questions or issues with this or anything else with Condi Systems, please give us a call at 1-800-826-6332, option 2 for support, or send us an email to support at condi.com.